Hi guys, it's Richard at Altfins with another market update. Today I want to show you how to short sell altcoins without a margin account. In some cases that's possible. Um, and it's a very simple way to bet on a, a down market or a, a down swing in a market or, or a correction. Now before I do that, let me just mention that if you are serious about making money in trading altcoins, please check out our trading education curriculum which includes uh, 10 webinar lessons with uh, notes where we teach seven trading strategies that you can use on the Altfence platform itself. And the lessons are basically real trading sessions. Now let's get back to our market update. Yesterday, the crypto market pulled back. If we look at the performance in the last day or so of, over here, it pulled back a few percentage points, nothing major. Um, but it was uh, in reaction to the news about inflation. Inflation data came out yesterday. Uh, as you can see here, it was, I mean, it is at 40 year high at 7.5%. And it was actually higher, slightly higher than the expectations were. And that really increases the, uh, the chances that the Fed, the central bank of US, will need to be more aggressive in raising interest rates uh, to fight the inflation this year. Um, <clears throat> so far, there were expectations that the Fed will raise interest rates four times, about 25 basis points each quarter. But after this report, yesterday's report or data on inflation, uh, there are some analysts that expect even a more aggressive uh, Fed uh, move starting in March with 50 basis points here. And that obviously um, throws some cold water on uh, speculative and, and uh, uh, assets of all kinds, including tech stocks. Yesterday were down quite a bit as well. Here's a chart with this candle right here. <clears throat> was yesterday's trading action on the, on the 10th of February. As you can see, it, you know, it gapped down quite a bit. Um, and it was down about three to four, uh, three, I'm sorry, two to three percent yesterday as well. So crypto uh, does trade uh, sometimes in line with the technology stocks as well. Now, <clears throat> having said that, uh, the other thing to note is that we've had a fantastic bounce. We talked about that um, three or four weeks ago, that the markets were extremely oversold. If you remember, let's take a look at Ethereum, for example. I mean, it was a time when we haven't seen such oversold, extreme oversold levels. And you can tell by the RSI reading here. When it's below 30, it's oversold. But when it gets to 20, 25, it's extremely oversold. We haven't seen such le levels in, in all of last year. So that uh, we talked about in a couple of videos was uh, a good swing trade opportunities opportunity and that played out well this is ethereum but it's played out similarly with a number of other coins and you know we're we're up uh, from those levels as much as 30 40 percent now markets never go straight up right there's there is usually always uh swings as you can see this is a downtrend in ethereum with swings up down up down up down now this upswing here was quite considerable and gives us hope that this is perhaps the beginning of an uptrend again, a trend reversal, because based on our trend rating, ratings, it is still technically in a downtrend. And as you notice, the recent upswing did not make a higher high, which is required for a trend, a higher high and higher lows. But what we're hoping for to see here with this one and others is that it does obviously swing back. There's some profit taking from traders, very natural after getting 30, 40% gains in, in less than a month. And as you can see, the momentum is fading. The momentum is uh, declining. The, you can tell that by the MACD histogram bars here, right? They were rising, rising, and now they've peaked, and now they're going to decline uh, for the next few sessions. So it would not surprise me if we dip on the 3000 even, you know, at this point, if you want to go long, obviously, if you're owning it and you're owning it for a long term, um, then these swings are irrelevant. But if you are trading it and swing trading it uh, in the next uh, few days or a week or so, uh, the chances are that this 
momentum phase, the price price pulls back. Now, hopefully, it pulls back and bounces higher than it did in in um, in, in mid January. Right, the low here was two thousand one hundred and fifty eight. If the price comes back and then bounces up from these level higher than this low, that will be quite bullish because that would be a higher low. The price would make a higher low, which is also a beginning or an indication of perhaps a new uptrend starting. But until then, chances are we're going to go lower before we go higher again. And obviously, we would love to see it break above this 200 day moving average, which for me is typically an indication of an uptrend at a minimum, <clears throat> a start of the of an uptrend. Now, so MACD, MACD is a good swing trading tool. As you can see here, the buy flag was a good um, a good indication of uh, an upswing coming. In fact, uh, the MACD histogram gave us even even an earlier indication of a momentum uh, swing or inflection. Now, <clears throat> if we're going to see a downswing, what do we do? Well, we can short. We can short uh, uh, short sell. And to short sell, typically you need a margin account. You can do that on Binance. We've demonstrated this in videos in the past. Uh, it's a little more complicated for novices, but there's another way to do that <clears throat> that's more straightforward. Um, and so let's go ahead and find, first of all, where do we short sell, right? Well, let's go to our patterns. This is one way uh, to find some short selling opportunities. Uh, here, our system indicates uh, some uh, potential trade opportunities. And again, if we're in a downswing, most likely in the next few days, then we don't want to force it and be buying things, right? You can you can filter things that are buys here, but not very many are indicating buy here. And, and we don't want to force it. We don't want to go against sort of the, the near term trend here. <clears throat> so, um, so what what could we what could we short sell? I mean, there's a lot of opportunities here. You can see with the decent, decent potential upside um, short selling and a lot of them are channel down patterns. If you have a specific pattern that you prefer right here, <clears throat> uh, you can do those as well. Ascending triangle, descending triangle, and so on. We may not always identify the uh, the uh, all of the patterns, but we you know the system tries. But the other thing I mentioned is that don't always look out for breakout. Obviously, on, honestly, um, I think emerging patterns actually are very tradable ideas. So this channel down is an emerging pattern. It has not the price has not broken out of it, and most likely it will continue to trend down in wave in waves uh, between the uh, resistance and support trend lines. <clears throat> very very interesting and and good trading opportunities now uh, within these channels or or falling wedges and so on even without a breakout just basically trading between the support and resistance trend lines now another way of getting at these patterns is using the screener and that gives us a few other options so let's go ahead and open up first of all um we want to do a pretty decent market cap, okay? I'll put in here actually 500 million as a minimum market cap. Now we're down to 132 coins. Uh, the other thing, I want to trade with the trend, right? So let's make sure if I'm going to short sell, I want to trade with the trend. So I'm betting the price will go down. So I want to make sure that the coins that I'm going to be shorting are in the downtrend already. More than likely, that trend will continue. That's the major presumption with trend trading and even swing trading. All right, so now I selected that short term, medium term and long term trend are down. Now we're down to 43 coins. And lastly, trading patterns. I could say that I want uh, my bet that I want the direction to be bearish sell. OK, 19. We could save this and say this is this is uh, sell patterns in downtrend. 
Now this is saved in our filters. We can go back to that in the future right here. Apply that filter in the future when you come back to it. Done. Let's take a look at the results. Who's on this list of you know, coins to be shorted? Well, Cardano, Solana, some pretty well-known names. Chainlink, Algorand, Pancake, uh, Peking Swap, Loopring. So uh, all of these are in a downtrend. Let's make sure. Are they in a downtrend? According to our data, it is. We can take a look, actually, the, the charts themselves and confirm just visually, but um, clearly they are, right? A series of lower highs with lower lows, okay? And in the case of Cardano, we get in, zoom in a little closer. We had a nice upswing here. Now the, the momentum is inflecting, fading, more than likely to revisit the dollar level right here. We probably say that in the curated chart as well. Okay, you can check that as well. But um, and let's take a look what we have in the patterns. Also, another one is Solana. Let's check that out real quick. Right, another one that had obviously a nice swing up with the rest of the market. Now the momentum is fading. It got rejected at 125. Now it's likely to uh, come back and retest that support level around 80 or so right and notice that you know in the upswing it didn't make a higher high it's it's uh it didn't um, you know this is not a trend reversal yet and as you can see our trend rating obviously is down across all three time horizons short term medium and long term so good candidate for short selling now let's look at the patterns what are the patterns telling us well solana right here According to our system, it's trading in the channel down pattern. As you can see, it's expected to now have been rejected by the, the trend line here and is expected to revisit the, uh, the support level down here. All right, so uh, a decent opportunity with 24% potential upside. ADA as well, uh, that's uh, Cardano. Similar situation, trading in the channel down. Again, got rejected at $1.20, $1.25 resistance level. And now it's likely with the fading momentum to revisit the, uh, the support level, which is about 20% lower. So now how do we short this, <clears throat> short sell it? Well, we could go again to one of your exchanges uh, and short it through the margin account. But there's also an easier way in some cases. There is an easier way because some of these coins um, have also derivative coins, let's call them, uh, that are basically, see, when we go to our platform and, and we type in Solana, there's a few other uh, versions of Solana. This one says Solana 3S. That means it's three times short Solana. So if Solana goes up, I'm sorry, down 1%, um, if Solana goes up 1%, then, then, the, uh, then this price will actually decline. If Solana declines, if Solana price goes down 1%, then the Solana short will actually go up 3%. Okay? So if we are betting that Solana is going to go down, then I should be buying this because that would be going the opposite direction of up and I don't need a margin account for that I just need to figure out where this trades which exchange is the trade on one good source for that is actually nomics not sure if you're familiar with that it's something like coin market cap but in some cases actually even better so Solana 3 3 s okay let's figure out where this particular symbol trades when I scroll down keep scrolling all the way to almost the bottom here's the Solana 3s s market trading on big one Qcoin gate.io and a few others so if you have an account on these then you can simply just go to that exchange and actually buy that um, buy that particular buy that particular coin. This is, uh, I didn't click on the right. Here we go. Qcoin, view chart. 
for this particular asset. Here it is. Okay. So that's another way of short selling and betting on the price decline uh, is using these d derivative coins. Now, you know, beware that if you want to short $1,000 worth of Solana, then you really <clears throat> need to just do, because this is three times that, so really you need just $300 or so um, to get, to achieve the same exposure. Um, so either way you do it, either through the margin account or through one of these derivative coins, that's, uh, that's the way to do it. That the, this is how you generate some ideas. And, um, and I will mention that, you know, this is potentially, uh, obviously you're speculating on the price decline, but it could, al could also be used as a hedging mechanism for your portfolio. If you have, you own a lot of interesting coins that you love longer term, but you are worried about, uh, you know, another market correction, then you can short sell some of these um, other coins perhaps that are already in a downtrend and had a temporary upswing um, and now have basically been rejected at certain resistance levels, then you can short sell these to offset uh, your exposure that you have on the long side on the coins that you actually own in your portfolio. So it's potentially a hedging mechanism, but also a potential um, you know, profit generation um, uh, a trade as well. Uh, if you have any questions, please email us at invest.altfins.com. Otherwise, good luck trading.